Hi, it's Rob from Walden Homes, and today I'd like to talk a little bit about accent walls in homes. As you can see, I'm over here at our uh, project on Bannatine Drive, where they have a feature wall in the uh, living room and kitchen area. They have a nice little fireplace down below with a stone ledge that's been covered up uh, during the construction process, but uh, they're going to be having a great big wall-mounted TV here. And uh, one interesting thing that they're actually choosing to do is these invisible speakers that actually get set into the drywall, as you can see here. Um, the speaker actually gets mounted inside the wall, flush with the drywall, and the, the, uh, the drywallers will actually tape around the speaker and skim right around it so it actually becomes part of the wall. Uh, there's actually one over here, and you actually can't even see it. There's a subwoofer on the wall that's blended uniformly into the wall, so the sound will actually just emit from the wall space and not actually show a speaker like this in the ceiling where you actually see the grill um, of the speakers overhead. And this wall will actually be invisible flush with the wall, so it's a really cool feature here. So in either case, uh, the, what we do here, uh, again, when you're, especially when you're doing um, a real focal point wall is you want to make sure that everything is as seamless and smooth as possible because obviously this wall is going to draw a lot more attention than many walls in the house. You're going to be looking at this wall every day. If you're sitting on the sofa watching your TV, if you're sitting in the winter time watching your fireplace, this wall is going to get a lot of viewing. So what we do uh, in this case is uh, now that the main wall has been, been mudded and sanded, we've actually uh, cut out fresh new pieces of drywall to be installed here around the new speakers so that again we can actually as you can see here there's actually a little recess right in the speaker here where the taping gets done so that way when you skim over top it actually becomes flush with this wall surface so this wall this speaker actually as you can see has a little bit of pliability to it so it allows the the sound to emit without uh, shaking the plaster so again that's obviously a unique situation to this house but again in most uh, accent uh, accent feature walls in homes. We always try to isolate, um, you know, the cleanest details. Make sure that all, all the, the the plaster work and the painting is done uh, very cleanly. As you can see, we also have some feature lights, uh, some wall wash lights, so it really shines down the wall quite nicely. When you stand back, it really gives a nice uh, wall washing effect. So when this is all done and all the walls painted uniform and those speakers are hidden in the actual wall system itself. Um, and then obviously the stone around this fireplace is all completed. Uh, as you can see, we've got the stone here on the hearth uh, all finished. So again, we've got to protect it for the time being. But again, a lot of really interesting details you can do on a focal wall. Um, a lot of different ideas, again, with fireplaces and TVs and speakers and whatnot. But ultimately, the, the long and short is that you want to make sure that any feature wall is A, designed properly, so it, it, it suits the function and the needs of the homeowner. Uh, again, any accent lighting or accent details, you know, whether it be niches, in this case we have another cubby going in here where all the AV equipment's going to actually get housed. So again, all these things are great to think about in advance when planning a home so you can have one great big feature wall and uh, obviously that's going to really stand out when the home's completed and you're going to again you're going to st stand there or sit there and, and and look at this wall more than most walls in the house so uh, again it's a really cool way to do uh you know a, a subtle or dramatic uh, accent in the house thanks for watching